Hey everyone, welcome back to One Sun Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am doing a rather large PSA reveal. This is a 50 card PSA reveal. All these cards were cards that were submitted during the national during their $18 special. They were submitted by me along with Patreons of my Patreon group. What I do for my Patreons, if you're a Patreon member, I will submit cards for you at no additional charge other than what the grading cost is. So for these, it was $18. Patreons paid $18. I handled all the paperwork. I handled all the insurance to get it there and to get it back. And that also includes the PSA membership charge and stuff like that. You don't need to pay any of that. I will do that for Patreons. It is one of the perks of being a Patreon. If that is something you are interested in, check out the link in the video description below. That will give you all the information for my Patreon group. There's a ton of other things that you can get, uh, monthly packs, break credits. That's how you get into all of my breaks. A lot of people ask me that question. So if you're interested, check out the Patreon group and you can join for as little as $2 a month. But without further ado, we got a lot of PSA cards to rip open here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna stack these ones up back here. We'll see how many tens we get, how many nines. And let's see, what side are these gonna be on? Okay, so the bottoms are gonna be over here. They've got these things packed pretty tight, which is a good thing. Wouldn't want them to get damaged in shipping. So let's dig right in and I'll name off the Patreon for the cards that were submitted as we do them. I'm hoping they're kind of in order. So this first one, which I almost showed on camera, is a Jordan Lawler. I believe this one is mine. I got to check my paperwork here. I'm pretty sure the Jordan Lawler, yep, it is the Bowman Chrome in 3D on-card autograph. It is number 13 out of 99 it is the jordan lawler and this is the bowman in 3d insert auto from 2022 bowman and our first card gonna come in at a gem mint 10 so a beautiful jordan lawler to 10 out of 99 of one of the great prospects that's in the diamondbacks organization so we get our first 10 the next one which i believe is also mine is from 2022 Tops Pristine. This is a Vidal Brujan rookie card. It is the orange. It is numbered one out of 25. A true eBay one of one. Let's see what it gets from 2022 Tops Pristine. Another gem mint 10. So we're starting off strong. We got two 10s right off the bat. All right, our next one gonna be from 2021 Panini Mosaic. This one is another one of mine. This is um, from, like I said, 2021 Panini Mosaic. This is the Shohei Otani Gui Green? Green Swirl Parallel. You could only pull these out of the first off the line box. It is numbered nine out of 11. And this card gonna get a gem mint nine so we get a nine a beautiful show hey numbered to 11 so a nine out of that so that is our first nine our next one gonna be a pc card of mine just a beautiful card love this card it is a green panini prism 2021 stained glass mike trout card and this is the let's see i forget what do they call the lime green parallel it is numbered 36 out of 125 so it's going into the pc everyone that knows me knows i collect mike trout so just a nice mike trout here lime green prism gonna come in at a mint nine very hard to know why this comes in at a nine looks really centered but it is a unbordered card so sometimes those are a little bit harder to judge on if it's going to get a nine or a ten now, this next one is another one from Panini Prism. It is an Aaron Judge stained glass shimmer parallel. It is numbered one out of seven. So one out of seven, another first on the line, a first off the line exclusive. This is Aaron Judge. Perfect timing for this card to come back. It is a 2021 Prism stained glass shimmer parallel. The seven comes in at a gem mint 10. So a beautiful gem mint 10 right there. Really low numbered Aaron Judge card. 
popular, popular player right now. So glad we got that one. For our next one, we've got a Riley Green. And let's see who's got the Riley Green. Because I know this one is not mine. Of course, I got to find it. This one is going to Brian Brandt. This is a 2019 Bowman Draft Riley Green Chrome Refractor. First Riley Green. Just came up this year, uh, late in the year for the Tigers. And we get another gem, Mint 10 for Brian B. So a beautiful Riley Green right there. Love that we got a 10. We're doing pretty good on the 10s, getting two to one odds right now. So let's see what's next. How about a Jordan Lawler? Now, whose is this one? I wish they would put them in the order. Who's got the Jordan Lawler? Sorry, I have to find it here. And I have it. Uh, da, 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 da. Jordan Lawler, where are you at, Jordan? I know he's around here somewhere. This one is going to Patreon John W. This is a 2022 Bowman Mega Box Jordan Lawler SP autograph numbered four out of 25. It's going to come in at a mint nine. So we get a nine on the Lawler, maybe a little bit top heavy there, but still numbered Four out of 25, still going to hold plenty of value. So we get a nine on that one for John W. And then our next one, boy, these cards are all over the place. We get a Trey Sweeney, which the Trey Sweeney, I believe, was, yeah, it is submitted by Victor B. So Victor has the Trey Sweeney Purple Ray Wave Refractor. Beautiful looking card right here. It is this first Bowman. It is numbered 55 out of 250. Let's see what the Trey Sweeney 2022 Bowman comes in at. It comes in at a Mint 9 as well. So Victor gets the Mint 9 on the Trey Sweeney. Maybe a little bit left heavy. That's about all I can see there. But we do get the 9. Our next one. This one is also going to be for Victor B. This is going to be a tough one to get graded. These foil cards. This is going to be a Wander Franco. I believe this is his. Yes, it is the 2021 Panini Don Russ Rated Prospects. Wander Franco. It's the pink fireworks parallel of Wander Franco. Let's see what we get on this one. We're going to get a mint nine as well. So now we've got three nines in a row. So Victor comes away with the mint nine there. Our next one, gonna be a Bobby Witt. Now, whose is this one? Let's see, the 2021 Prism Bobby Witt. I believe this one is, let me find it here. Gotta find it, sorry. I'll fast forward through this. This one also gonna be from John W. So John W has the 2021 Panini Prism draft picks. This is the Bobby Witt Jr. Prospects insert auto. So let's see what the Bobby Witt gets. Nice autograph here from Bobby Witt. Gonna be a mint nine as well. So now we've got six nines and four tens. So John comes away with the nine there. Now we're gonna go back to Victor. We know Victor is the Eduardo Garcia super collector. So this one is the gold shimmer from 2021 first. It is numbered. It's going to be kind of hard to see there. 44 out of 50. There we go. 44 out of 50. The Edward Garcia gold shimmer. He collects Edward. Gar Ed I keep saying Edward. It is Eduardo Garcia gold shimmer refractor and it's going to come in at a gem mint 10 now we have graded a lot of these eduardo garcias and it is tough to get tens in these so a really nice one right here a lot of these come back at nines i don't know if that's because of where it was at on the on the sheet when it gets cut but we do get a 10 there all right now we're going to do some football cards and these are all going to be for big tech 12 He's got a ton of, well, I, do, I have five or six, maybe not a ton, but Matt Judon cards. And this is going to be from Mosaic. And this one will be, I believe it's the gold mosaic or gold fluorescent mosaic from 2020 Panini. And his first Matt Judon, he's going to have five of them in here. Yeah, it's the gold fluorescent and it comes in at a gem mint. 
10. So a beautiful one right here. By the way, this card is numbered 14 out of 20. So we get the 10 on the gold fluorescent Matt Judon. Congratulations on that one, Big Tech. And so now we're even 6'6 six, six on 10s to 9s. The next one going to be, we are skipping all over the place. I wish these were in the order that we put them in. It would make it a lot easier. But they haven't done that on us, so we'll have to do it the hard way. So this one is a 2022. This one's going out to Nick D, Patreon Nick D. It is the Wander Franco. I believe it's the gold. They're calling it gold, but it does not look gold. It is four out of 75. So this is considered the gold parallel. Does not look gold at all, but it is the wood back. Wander Franco rookie card to 75 from the 1985 or 1987 design 35th anniversary gold gonna get a mint nine centered card i believe maybe a tad bit soft up in the right or left corner so we get a mint nine there so we're now seven to six our next one gonna be an ellie de la cruz auto this one is on card Ellie De La Cruz from 2022. I believe this one is, whose is the Ellie? The Ellie is going to be from John W. as well. So we got the Bowman Megabox Chrome Autograph. And it comes in at another Mint 9. So we get another Mint 9 on the Ellie. This one, tough one to know why. It looks very centered, but we do get a 9. All right, now we have, this is one of mine. We are skipping all over the place, let me tell you. This one, we have Dwory Lorenzo. It is a Bowman Chrome 2022 Sapphire Auto, numbered four out of five. Not one of your bigger prospects, but I figure if you get a four out of five Sapphire first Bowman, probably a good thing to grade it. So let me make sure this one is... Hold on, I'm looking. But now I'm looking. Oh, yes. Okay, so this one is mine. That's what I thought. Just wanted to double check. So we got Dory Lorenzo, Chrome Prospect Auto, four out of five. And we get another Mint 9. So we get a Mint 9, but with such a low numbered card and it being in such low circulation, still going to hold some value there. All right, now this one I had been holding on to, wanted to wait for it to come down. This is going to be from 2020. Um, Top's finest flashbacks. This is the Jordan Alvarez base refractor, but it is his rookie card. I've been holding on to it. I believe I believed it was pretty clean. So let's see what the Jordan gets. The Jordan from 2020 finest flashbacks going to get a mint nine as well. So we're stacking up on the nines. We got to get some tens to catch up here. All right, here we go. How about a Davis Mills who's having a decent season? This one going to be a John W card. It is 2021 Panini Prism. It is the Disco Prism, and I don't believe it is numbered, but so this is the Disco Prism from 2021, or Laser Prism is what they're calling it. I called it the Disco Prism, but hey, what do I know? We're going to get a Gem Mint 10, so John comes through with a Gem Mint 10 on the Davis Mills card. Beautiful one right there. Congrats on that one, John. And now for our next one, we get a Lennon Sosa. This is going to be an orange mega box from 2022 Bowman. The Lennon Sosa, who's got that one? It is crazy that these things are all mixed up the way that they are. This one also going to be a John W. card. Orange Refractor, eBay one of one, one out of 25 from a mega box. And this one comes in. At a Gem Mint 10. So John with two Gem Mint 10s back to back. Congrats on that one, John. Then we have the Moonshots. And this one is also going to be for John W. So John W's cards are coming up here pretty quick. This one going to be from Panini Select 2022. It is the Moonshots. It is the Pete Alonzo Signature. I don't believe it is. It is numbered. It's numbered 17 out of 34. And this one going to be a gem mint 
10. So John coming through with three Gem Mint 10s in a row. And now we go back to some Matt Judon. And so these ones are going to be for Big Tech. This is the blue mosaic. And I think he has two of these in here. It is numbered 29 out of 99. So let's see what this one gets. The 29 out of 99 blue mosaic from 2020 Panini Mosaic. Going to get a gem mint 10. So we get another gem mint 10 for big tech as well. And now we're on a string of 10s. We're half and half 10s and 9s. So our next one, this is going to be for the Sheriff. This is an Anthony Rizzo. Very cool card right here. This is from 2011 Tops Finest. It is the Anthony Rizzo Refractor Autograph. And this one, going to come in. Ooh, we get our first eight. Not sure why this card gets an eight. Probably has something to do with the surface because it looks pretty centered. We looked at the edges. The edges were good on this card. It is centered. By the way, the card numbered 470 out of 499. Now, this going to Zach. He's a, he is a Yankees fan. So we get the eight. He'll probably be a little disappointed in the eight. I think we were hoping for a nine on this one, but we do get the eight. So we get our first eight, but we only have one so far. So let's get into the next stack and see if we can get some more tens rolling. Okay, so we start with an Alec Manoa. This is a sweet rookie card. It's going to be from Topps Chrome Sapphire. This one also going out to Zach. So Zach gets the Chrome Sapphire. This is the blue. It is the base. He's a big Alec Manoa collector. Let's see what we get here from Sapphire Edition 2021 Topps Chrome Update. We get a gem mint 10. So Manoa had a Cy Young caliber year. So a nice one to get there. Really young still too. Going to be a great one. All right. For our next one, this is one of my submissions. This is a Geraldo Perdomo. First Bowman from 2019, and it's from Bowman Chrome. It is his base autograph. So we get on this one, a gem, mint, 10. So we get the Perdomo. I'll take the Perdomo all day. That card going to hold a nice value right there. Perdomo has been moving up the prospect charts, a good prospect in the Diamondbacks organization. That's probably a resell one right here. Now here is one I bought about, I think it was a five card lot of Jose Ramirez rookie cards. This is Topps Chrome. This one is mine. It's from 2014. These are really hard to get in tens because in 2014, these, a lot of these were miscentered. So let's see if I can get lucky. I submitted the best one that I got out of the bunch. So the Jose Ramirez rookie card from Topps Chrome gets a mint nine. Again, it's just tough. I thought this one was pretty centered. Um, this was the best one that I got. I get the nine. I did not have a Jose Ramirez slabbed. So for 18 bucks, I will take it. All right, now for my next one. I have a 2018. This is going to be a Mojo Refractor from Tops. It's going to be the 1983 from the Silver Packs. This is a Walker Bueller rookie card. Again, this one I just thought had a really good chance at a 10, so we'll see if it gets it. And it does. It gets a gem mint 10, Walker Bueller. Hoping he can come back at some point next season from Tommy John and be the pitcher that he's been throughout his career. I believe he's on a good track to become one of the greats in the game for this generation. Now, this card, I, I always get faked out by that because I think it's a... That's actually on his sock. That is not on the card. This is a Bo Bichette Pink Refractor from 2020 Tops Chrome. This one was submitted by Nick D. So, Nick, let's see what we get on the Bo Bichette for you. The Pink Refractor, you would have got that out of a retail box. We get another gem, Mint 10. So, the Bo Pink comes in at 10. Like that one there. Congrats on that one, Nick. And for our next one, we get... Jonathan Class A first from 2022. Here we go. Let's see what the Jonathan Class A prospect auto comes in at. How about a gem mint 10? So a Class A 
10, and now our 10s are starting to take over again. All right, this one, a beautiful one. This one was not submitted by me, even though it is a Mike Trout. This one was submitted by Matt H. It is a Mike Trout 2021 gold in the 86 design. It is numbered 11 out of 50. Love some Mike Trouts, especially when they're parallels. The 1986 design from 2021 Tops Chrome coming in at a gem mint 10. So we get another 10. Matt, congrats on that one. Beautiful Mike Trout card. So our 10s are starting to take the lead again. Now this one I know was submitted by me. Everyone's going to probably say, who is that? But I collect the 2002 Angels championship team and i do not the chom the sean figgins is a very hard card to get graded i believe there's very few of them so it's hard to get it on the secondary market and it's hard to find ones in good condition but i did find one that i thought had a good chance at a 10 i'm excited if this comes back at 10 this might be the card that i want to gem up the most out of all of them even though at a 10 it'd only be worth about 10 bucks but this is definitely a pc card right here sean figgins his rookie card from 2022 bowman chrome gets the gem mint 10 baby let's go love it this is a hard card to get i'll put the pop in the um as an overlay on the video but this one definitely going to the pc totally stoked that it gets a 10 and i'm happy 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 with that one okay for our next one another well i forgot to do it but look we have a 2020 panini mosaic matt judon this is the purple mosaic it is a gem mint 10 it is numbered 36 out of 49 this one going to big tech so big tech scoring big with the matt judon 10s gets another one to 49 so he gets a gem mint 10 there all right now i'll cover this one up this one going to be a George Valera autograph. Now, this one is, this is another one from John, I believe, but let me just, yes, it is. It is the 2022 Bowman Mega Box Chrome, and Autogra Chrome Autographs, George Valera. So another Mega Box autograph. Love that these are on card from 2022 Bowman. The George Valera gets a gem mint 10. So we're getting a good string of 10s right here. Congrats on that one. That one, like I said, going to John W. John, congrats on that one. You're doing good on the 10s, bud. All right, here we go. Next card, going to be one of mine. This is a 2022 Topps Pristine Wander Franco. This is the, I forget if this is the base or if this is, well, here we can look. Yeah, this is the base. So it's just the base pristine, but I really like this set. One of the better designs, I think, from 2022. Let's see what the pristine Wonder Franco is going to get. It gets a gem mint 10. So I'm doing good on 10s as well. So we get the Wonder Franco in a 10 in the pristine. Happy with that one. All right, next card. Another one submitted by me. 2022 Bowman chrome autograph oscar colas the oscar colas one of the big international signings that happened last year and now he's in the chicago white Sox organization they paid him a ton of money to come over and play ball let's see what he gets we'll probably see him next year because he's a little bit older we get a gem mint 10 so there is another 10 that we get and now our 10s are like two to one again so we're on a hot streak all right now we have the purple Bobachet 2020 this one's another Bobachet that was submitted by nick d this one's going to be numbered 145 out of 299 2020 tops chrome purple refractor let's see what it gets we get a mint nine. So we get a nine on the Boba Shet purple for Nick D. And then we're going to go back to Zach Freeburn on an Alec Manoa. This is going to be a 2019 Chrome Sapphire base Alec Manoa Bowman first. It is not numbered. It is the base. So let's see what the Alec Manoa Bowman first chrome sapphire gets for Zach the sheriff. How about a gem mint 10? So he's gemming up on the Alec Manoas, making up for the eight on the Anthony Rizzo. 
All right, let's see. Next card. This one's going to be one of mine. Alejandro Kirk, first Bowman autograph from 2019. He had a pretty good season as a catcher. He's really coming around, coming into his own. Probably not a Hall of Fame player, but it is his first Bowman autograph. So I figured at 18 bucks, why not? We've got the 2022 autographs. And we get a mint nine. So we don't get the 10 there. Not quite sure. This card did sit in my autograph pile for a while. So it might be some surface issues. Not quite sure why it gets the nine there. Uh, but we'll take it. All right, now we're going back to Victor B. Another Eduardo Garcia. This is the true gold, number 38 out of 50 from 2021 Bowman Chrome. This is the gold Eduardo Garcia. We get... A mint nine, which again, not surprising. These are tough to get in a 10. We did get the 10 in the gold shimmer. We get the nine in the true gold. So Victor, congrats on that one. All right, now we get a cool card right here. The 2022 Donruss Marvels. Wander Franco. This one was submitted by, let me see here. John W., this one's going to be numbered 983 out of 999. Just to cool, the Marvel's insert was so sick from 2022 Don Russ. So here we go. Wander Franco, rookie card. Let's see what it gets. How about a gem? Mint 10. Beautiful Wander Franco in a 10. So congrats on that one, John. Glad we could get it for you. And now we're going back to me. This is a Reed Detmers rookie card from 2022 Panini Select. This is the gold. Now, the gold in Select is numbered out of 10. So, this is 10 out of, so this is number 10 out of 10. And let's see if we can get a Gem Mint 10 in the 2022 Select Reed Detmers. We do a Gem Mint 10. Beautiful Reed Detmers right there. A nice promising pitcher, which is rare to say for the Angels. But the Angels do have, he's already got a no hitter under his belt. He's kind of had an up and down rookie season, but overall, really kind of the Angels' future ace is what a lot of people think. Okay, so here we go. Going back to Victor. We're trying our luck again with Eduardo Garcia. This is going to be the I believe it is from 2021 Bowman Sapphire. No, it's not Sapphire. It's 2021 Bowman Chrome, but it is the Aqua. No, it is Sapphire Edition. See, I knew. I, I know what I'm talking about, and then I second guess myself. 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Edition Eduardo Garcia. This is the Aqua Refractor, number 21 out of 99. This one, going to come in. At a mint nine. So these Eduardo Garcia's just tough to gem up for some reason. We've got a lot of nines, a few tens, but we get a nine out of the Aqua Sapphire. And for our next one, this one's going to be mine. Again, the tr this is actually a 2003 Tops card, but it is a picture of the 2002 championship team, Angels team card. So again, this one for the PC, not worth much, but at 18 bucks, I was totally going to get it graded because this is definitely one for the PC. This one's going to come in at a gem mint 10. Again, I bought like five or six of them, picked the best one, sent it in, hoping it would get a 10. It does. A PC card nonetheless. So it doesn't really matter what the value is on this one. But a beautiful Angels 2003 card showing the 2002 championship team. So we got a few cards left in this 50 card submission. And let's see where we land on our ratio so far only one eight a few nines but we're definitely doing good on the ten so let's see if we can finish strong and it looks like we've got a couple all right so let's go like that all right so we've got one on the top here that they did not grade and we'll see why that is We'll have to open it up. So let's see what happened here on why they aren't grading this one. So this is a 2022 Topps Dynamic Duels. It's a Wander Franco Juan Soto, and it gets 
a minimum size requirement. So this is the second one of 2022 Topps Dynamic Duels that I've sent in that they aren't grading because they say the card is not sized right, which is really irritating. I should probably go back to Topps and say, hey, you guys cut these cards wrong and you can't get them graded. Can I get a refund? Because they're not the same size. But if every card's like that, it doesn't make sense why they wouldn't grade it. But they choose not to, and I can't help that. All right, so now... Let's go back to Matt Judon. This is the second blue, this one for Big Tech from 2020 Panini Prism or Panini Mosaic. This one's number, this is the blue numbered 11 out of 99. Let's see what we can get for Big Tech on this one. We're going to get a near mint eight. So we got a 10 on one of them, but this one comes back an eight. Now he's PCing Matt Judon, but interesting that this one comes back an eight while the other one comes back a 10. Not sure why we get an eight here, but we do. So we get our second eight out of 50 cards. All right, for our next one. This one was submitted by Larry, a beautiful Craig Kimbrell. And this is from 2011 Tops Update. It is the Walmart Blue Border Parallel Craig Kimbrell Rookie Card. It is not numbered, but it is, it is the Walmart Blue. So let's see what we can get for Larry on this one. Larry gets... Wow! A Gem Mint 10. Beautiful 10 right there. Craig Kimbrell, if you go look at his stats... He is on a Hall of Fame path. He's going to need to get more saves, but he's got the time to be able to do it, and I think he'll get there. He should end up being top three in saves all time, so he could be a potential future Hall of Famer. I think it's a smart move on, on Kimbrel to get him graded because I think his cards in the future could go up. All right, so here we go. We've got 2020 Bowman. This is a Max Mayer first purple. This one was submitted... By let it's uh, by Brian B. Twenty twenty Bowman draft. This is his first Bowman. This one's numbered forty six out of fifty. So Brian, let's see what we can get for you here. We get another eight, a near mint eight. Now maybe a little left heavy, but not quite sure. Probably something on surface. Maybe a little soft down here in the corner, but we get an eight little underwhelming on the eight right there so we have three eights out of 50 it's a little it's a little bit of a bummer right there all right so here on this one we have a gold mosaic matt judon this one will be numbered two out of 17 now this one for whatever reason was flipped right side up so you guys may have already seen the grade but we'll reveal it as if you didn't it is a gem mint 10 so we do get a 10 from the gold mosaic at a 17. Beautiful one there for Big Tech. Big Tech, congrats on that one. All right, now we go to a rookie card, Andrew Vaughn. This is going to be from Topps Chrome Sapphire. And this one is, yes, this one is Brian B. It is a 2021 Topps Chrome Update Sapphire Edition of Andrew Vaughn. Solid player for the Sox. Has a lot of upside, still really young. It gets... A gem mint 10. So congrats on that one, Brian. And now we're going to go back to another Matt Judon. I believe this is the last of the Matt Judons for Big Tech. So this one is going to be the Matt Judon, I believe. Is it the No Huddle Pink? Yeah, it's the No Huddle Pink 2020 Panini Mosaic. No Huddle Pink numbered 5 out of 20. So let's see what we can get here for Big Tech. Big Tech, you're going to get a gem mint 10. So he did really well overall. He did get the 1-8, which was weird. But most of them came back at 10. So the Matt Judon scores a gem mint 10. And our 10s are about 2-1, to one, maybe even more, over the 9s and 8s. All right, so our next one, we get our only basketball card. We get an Anthony Edwards, and the Anthony Edwards was submitted, I believe that was by Brian as well. It is a yellow, reactive yellow. This is from 2020 Mosaic, rookie card, Anthony Edwards. It is not numbered, so let's see what we get. It's the NBA debut card, and it gets... A gem mint 10. So we get the Anthony Edwards NBA debut rookie card in the reactive yellow. 
Congrats on that one. Brian B has a nice return as well. And now for our final card, we have an Alec Manoa. This is going to be one for Zach. And this is the Alec Manoa 2021 Bowman's Best Autograph. This is the Refractor Autograph Rookie Card on card autograph for the Sheriff. And here we go. We get a Mint 9. So we end it with the Mint 9. So we get the Mint 9 on the Alec Manoa. And that is the $18 national submission a lot of these were submitted by patrons remember if you want me to submit cards at no additional cost that means you do not need to pay for a psa membership you don't need to pay for the insured shipping there and back you just need to ship your cards to me i will do it at no additional cost if you are a patreon you can check that out in the link below we ended up about two to one on the tens to nines we did get a three eights which is a little bit of a bummer but overall i would say a very nice submission some very nice cards in there i think everyone overall did really well let me know in the comments below what you think about the submission and throw over to first and hit that like button until next time i hope when you guys are out there in the wild you hit some fire in the packs that you're opening and As always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.